Beat it to Nashville! Things are about to get nasty. Nashville! Last year, there was a lot of singing, a lot of fried chicken eating, and lots of honky tonking. This year, we're switching it up. We'll be exploring historic Franklin, getting high in an adventure tower, it's all looks secure, right? <laughs> getting down on some line dancing lessons. Yeah, you lasso to the left. Checking out the largest European collection of cars in the country and sneaking in a preseason Titan game. Stop in the basement! Stop in the basement! Next stop, Nashville. This year, we found an RV park just 20 minutes outside of Nashville that plays live music every single night. All right, we got the RV park, new RV park. I love when they guide you to your site. It makes things easy. Chauffeur. <laughs> He's giving us the grand tour at the grand old RV park. Sometimes RV life is just a vibe, you know? So I hid in my arms and told her of many charms I kissed her back. Alright, so we had to walk Broadway and we're here on a Thursday night which is so much better on a Thursday because Friday and Saturday it is crazy packed but there's so much talent in every single one of these bars right now and we're trying to figure out where we want to go. Jason Aldean, way down there on the yeah. right. This year, you know, we got we, we got to switch it up. We got to switch it up. We got a few <laughs> nights here, so we're gonna see some new spots. And it's your birthday. It's my birthday. Yeah. Miranda, Miranda Lambert. Is that how you pronounce her name? Yeah, Miranda she Lambert. Her, she got her new. I, it wasn't here last year. She got her own spot, so my stop off there. Pulling trailers and within the trailer are people. 
people drinking with lights and music and it's legal. It's crazy, y'all. This is Nashville and I freaking love it. Oh, oh, we got these people. And banana yellow, banana yellow, banana shirts. But anyways, enough with that. We're on our way to Hattie B's because we need some freaking Nashville hot chicken before we end the night. Yo, that's the only way. <laughs> it's going down, dude. Hey, over until you have some Hattie B's. Some of that hot chicken. <laughs> smell that, I can smell that crispy, fatty, delicious. <laughs> the spice in the air is already making me cough. Literally, everyone around us is kind of like a little bit of... I was just looking over my shoulder. I thought that was for us. I was like, oh, is that our chicken? No, it's not. Okay. A little overzealous here. Oh, yes. Oh, damn, we got a half chicken. Okay. We went with the pimento mac and cheese and the red potato salad. Red skin potato salad. I gotta go for this first. <laughs> Perfection. <laughs> it's like a symphony, you know? In waves, it just comes so great. Alright, let's just set you here. Oh, the way they fry their chicken here is like next level. No chicken left behind, yo. I'm doing my I'm doing my utmost. All right, we're off to a bit of a slow start this morning. Now heading to an area called the Gulch for some coffee. I heard it's a really cool area. You know, you can walk walk around. There's lots of shops, lots of good cafes. Olivia found a nice coffee shop called. Uh, she, oh, she was called. I don't know. Uh, is it something parlor? Barista parlor. There yeah, we go. Yeah, like that. that's where we're going. <laughs> Bachelorettes are coming in. Getting that brunch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Mimosas. <laughs> so true. No, but there's a lot of shops. Potbelly Juice Bar, Wink, I don't know, Winky Luxes. Winky Lux is for luxury eyelashes. Because you get that, that winky luxury. <laughs> you want that luxury wink? All right, first impressions of the Gulch. I feel like if you were here for just a couple days, you could do a lot in this area number one you could do like an awesome morning workout of either they have a boxing class by rumble they have a berries boot camp they have a bar gym then you could get brunch at quite a few places you could do like the boozy milkshake brunch place yeah. called sunday they, they have like a biscuit, biscuit place they have all kinds of great food then you could go shopping let's say you needed a dress you forgot a shirt you needed something they got it too so we saw lululemon urban outfitters a ton of boutiques um, this area is super popping right now too. It's Friday morning. I'm sure it's gonna be even more packed tomorrow as people are flying in. But I really like this area and we didn't come here last year. No, no, so, lot, and there's a lot of people also just day drinking too. So yeah. there's the healthy option. You can go the healthy route of doing a fitness class or you could just brunch <laughs> start, and start drink. Dr start drinking at some of these girls, some of yeah. these bachelorette parties. They're already on buses at noon drinking. So they're gonna have a great jolly we'll, old We'll be weekend. seeing them later on Broadway. <laughs> yeah. Look at this. Looks unreal, that sandwich. Yeah, so I got the pulled pork MC style. It's got some coleslaw on top, beans, green beans, cornbread, Nathan's meat Brisket, platter. Brisket, pulled pork, I got everything. Baby back rib. Mm. Went a little light because I usually have a more on the plate, but we're, we're heading to the game and we're gonna get some treats there too. <laughs> Happy. Mm. Mm. The flavor is so good in this thing. Damn boy, he's there! Got my boots on! Next stop, line dancing. Wild Horse Saloon. Looks cool! <laughs> Got good AC going. You're going to slide to the right for 3-4. We're going to do the same thing back to the left. Four. 
like 10 things to do in Nashville. We didn't think we were gonna be able to make it, but we were, and we only have 20 minutes of parking, so we, just we don't have in. much time to see it, but it's it's a crazy hotel. It does feel super resorty and almost kind of like gimmicky like Vegas, you know? while we're here there just so happens to be a preseason NFL game at the Nissan Stadium the Titans are playing the Cardinals and Nathan and I aren't big enough NFL fans to care if it's a preseason game or the real thing uh, but all we know is we got amazing tickets that usually go for 370 to 400 dollars at the minimum for 40 freaking bucks so we're about to go have the time of our lives. And Nathan has only ever been to one NFL game ever. So we're excited to see how they do it in Nashville. There she blows. Nissan Stadium, y'all. Well, we got lucky and found a really good parking spot. All we have to do is cross the bridge. And there's the Nissan Stadium right there. Let's go! <laughs> you see all the jerseys everywhere, the Tennessee Titan jerseys. We thought, we stopped at a Dick's Sporting Goods earlier today and we thought, we considered getting one, but then I was like, am I you really? Jump on the I know, I know. Not it's not my team, you know, but hey, the color palette is kind of nice, though. <laughs> Olivia just had a checker bag because it was too big and it wasn't transparent. So we learned our lesson there. You gotta pay 10 bucks for that. It can't be bigger than your hand. And if it is, it has to be see-through. That must be a new thing. Cause I never heard about that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
seats are on rail. Five, look at that. I don't think this will ever happen again. <laughs> Preseason's where it's at if you don't want to spend $500 or more. Definitely got nasty out here in <laughs> Nashville. Round two, baby! It's your first time here dancing tonight. Make some noise out here. It's gonna get funky, funky. Okay, great. Last two, you're right. Grab your partner to the left. In lasso, in lasso, in lasso. Yeah, you lasso to the left. made it to historic Franklin and I've heard a lot about this place I mean this place is blowing up I read it in an article that it was top 10 best cities to live in the United States for all around lifestyle and well-being that's saying a lot the fact that it's even on the list and I hadn't really heard about it I'm curious first we got to get that coffee at this place called honest coffee that's located in factory Franklin Downtown Franklin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are walking the downtown strip now, Main Street, and it's super cute. There are so many boutiques, restaurants, little shops, coffee shops, <laughs> and we have this cute little center. Oh, we got a <laughs> roundabout here with some type of statue, historic statue. Need to do some reading up on it, but it's so cute and quaint here. All right, just driving around Franklin. A lot of nice homes, very clean, very safe downtown area very charming I mean it's a nice little city next to a massive city like Nashville so you have that accessibility with the neighborhood vibe and all the security you can imagine the homes definitely don't look to be on the cheap side though they look very um, it's more of an affluent wealthy neighborhood That's really nice. it's look really nice gorgeous. I mean look at that house right there I mean look at that thing <laughs> um, but right now we're gonna do Something kind of unique, different. Something that includes some athleticism. We about to soar. Ooh, we're going up and up and up. Dude, learning how to maneuver these things in the beginning felt like a serious science math problem. That makes no sense, but whatever, it was that confusing to me. <laughs> it wasn't that hard. We finally figured it out, <laughs> but we're going all the way to the top because that's where the hardest ones are first. And we figure, oh, watch me go, watch me go. Here we go. Oh, on the magnet, down. Oh, yeah, brother. There you go. We figure it'll be the harder ones are smarter to do first so that we don't get too exhausted doing the easier ones and then we can't even do the top ones. Yeah, we don't want to burn out. Dude. Those are hanging logs with like little rocks from rock climbing walls on Let's go, bring Ninja Warrior. Yeah, this all looks secure, right? <laughs> yeah. The harness and everything. Nathan's really ambitious with this one. Oh my God, be careful. <laughs> Babe, you're doing great. Try to stay on the no, other side because your thing's gonna get trapped. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Nicely done, Nathan. <laughs> they have separated it into three levels, and the top level has some of the hardest obstacles. <laughs> on today's adventures with Liv and Nate, they take on so will their muscles cramp up? Yes. Will their hands get tired? Absolutely. But will they restore a childlike sense of wonder? Oh yeah, baby. I'm 
so tired from the rock climbing art. You can do it. Push. Oh my god, Nick, the bottom rotates. You think you can do it? I don't know. Dude, and this? Do you see this rope? I don't know about it. Crazy with this one, Jay. <laughs> yeah, you got the technique now. That's it. That's it. My arms are giant. You can do it. You only got three more. Can she do it? Yeah, buddy. It's good to practice. Oh yeah. Those things that scare the shit out of you. Hey, honestly, people say it's not a workout. They're lying. No, look, look at, at look you. at the sweat dripping off my face right yeah. now. I'm drenched. Olivia and I are just having a little picnic at 50 feet in the air. <laughs> <laughs> Just missing a little mm. Reuben. Ooh. Some potato salad. Oh yeah. Speaking little, my language. A little bit of mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. A little Ooh. bit of a pickle. Jalapeno. <laughs> oh. My God. You know that feeling you had as a kid where you're just like tired, exhausted, dehydrated from like playing all day. That's exactly how we feel. Yeah, oh, from wait. recess. And okay, kick ball at recess. <laughs> or no, like did you ever go to like jumpy houses or like trampoline parks? Yeah, you and you just like forget to drink water. Like red hours. cheeks and you're just like, mom. That's literally how I feel. It's a glorious feeling. All right, food and drinks. Let's do it. recommended to come to this place called 55 South. And you know, while in Tennessee, we gotta get those fried pickles and we gotta get that fried hot chicken, yo. Yeah. <laughs> All right, starting with them fried pickles. Yeah. Hey, from, from uh, how it looks visually, I'm not, I'm not disappointed. <laughs> this is looking, look at that. Oh my God. It's so hot. <laughs> ah, okay. it's a heart of love. Hopefully I don't burn my tongue off. Love that tank. Oh. Thank you. Nice. Mm -hmm. And we got the cheesy grits. Yeah, we had to. Hey, we in the, we in Tennessee. Go go, do, go large. <laughs> oh, these fries. Incredible. Yeah. <laughs> the fries alone. We're gonna try this though. It's like the perfect amount of cheesy flavor without being overly intensely cheesy. That's an easy side dish right there. Actually, that's gonna help cool my mouth down when I have that hot chicken. All right, I gotta use my fingers. Yeah, Just don't go. touch my eyes, right? Yeah, don't touch your eyes. Oh my gosh. That's tasty. It's tasty. You getting that, that kick now? It's a little delayed, but it's really good. Really good. Here we are. <laughs> Super sign. Nathan. Lane Motor Museum. Unique cars from A to Z. Nathan, you went from German to Jamaican real quick. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> we about to watch that museum in European car, man. What? Dude, this is crazy. Looks like so small, just like off the beaten path, there's this tiny little road to get here. This is massive. So I was told this place has some of the most unique cars in the country, unique makes and models and years and designs, mostly European, but just from a first impression standpoint, we walked in and I'm looking at these cars and I've never seen cars that look like this. And they have a different section of the museum that's for three wheel, and military, and so they got motorcycles as well. We got a lot to and see. And look, they also got all these flags hanging up. Yeah. So it's like, are these the German cars? Yeah, They're the, the British cars. Section. Swedish, Italian, French, wow. Russian over there. 
They provide so much information about the history of the car. Top speed, 80 miles per hour. Original cost, this car was $1,675 in 1958. Restoration cost, it cost them over $37,000 to restore this car. It even shows who did the body work, who did the interior, who did the mechanical work. That's pretty neat that they have all this information on each car. Yeah, and also who donated it. Who donated it as well. Leave love. So here we have the Jetsons car. We got the Chicago bean over here. <laughs> Literally, you can see your entire reflection in it. We found Harry Potter's car. <laughs> this has super Harry Potter vibes. This is a 1933 Dymaxion replica, and it looks like an Airstream that's been turned into a car. Pretty freaking cool. Awesome. We got ourselves a little station there. I wish I could touch it, but you can't touch any of the cars, except for one. There's one that you can take a photo with. Hey. <laughs> All right, I gotta say, Coming into this experience, I didn't really know what to expect. Nathan told me, you're gonna see some really unique cars. I was like, okay, maybe from like 50s, 60s, whatever. No, there are cars here. I don't know the earliest, but definitely in the 30s. We're sitting next to one now. And they're just unique cars that you won't see anywhere else. Like bizarre cars, ones that I didn't even know were created. Ones that were maybe prototypes or they didn't really sell much back in the 30s, 40s, 50s, post-World War II. There's just so much innovation in here in the car world. And I feel like even myself, who I'm not really big into cars, yeah, it's just a great little museum. 12 bucks. Can't go wrong. For those generous folks out there that have chosen to join our Patreon community, we thank you.